Hey guys, Lord of Flames here, and welcome back to another video we're going to talk about for another Minecraft movie. Well, I'm mostly gonna make, but anyways, you all this all this new teaser poster of this new Minecraft movie called Bio Resurrection, and you'll be confusing what this movie is, and you'll mostly see something that seems familiar if you look closely. You might look at that text from the top left, and mostly you saw a head in the sewers. Well, mostly in the water, of course, since it's already out of the sewers. Because you will be wondering, this seems familiar from another movie you watched those years ago in 2018. And you look, if you want to know, well, you gotta look at the very bottom of the left. You see something is very invisibility more very visible that shows the word chapter 6 and you'll all be wondering already could this be the chapter the next chapter for the soul is night after the house of red that's correct I'm bringing it back but not 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 with new atronic universe trilogy not with those cinematic action superhero stuff no Still coming back to be as horror what it used to be back in the human demonizers and the House of Red. Even a little bit at the last night. But still. I decided to bring it back because I wanted to do something a little bit to end the story for real this time. Cause I don't know if that still could still explain that much for the House of Red for what just happened in the ending. Besides, this chapter it's mostly a rebooted without being the soul of Michael, rather with the bio resurrection. That is no longer anything about some hero or villains or anything like that. Not like cinematic or I don't know. Hero stuff. Anyways. That this bio resurrection Minecraft movie is mostly the continuation to the Soul is Night trilogy. Cause there are possible confusing things I've been making that truly make this franchise so damn confusing to you all that you might kind of hate it of making the the real title name of the trilogy called Soulless Knight, Fred Cage Universe, Nigel Plex, and then Neotronic. So, it decided to be a Soulless Knight then, the real one. Because if it had to be the Neotronic Universe, it would have get itself a reboot if you want to do that for yourself, because I'm not helping. Anyways. So it's mostly getting itself back. And yes. Now how this story is going to end up next, after the House of Red. Well, think of plays three years later after the incident in the House of Red. So why is that year? Like, why three years later after that? Because I want to do something else without just continuation to Jenny and Kristen. So this story is no longer focusing on the Caitlyn's family that much nor even Jenny, nor Kristen. So we're still coming back to much more for Michael. But you all, some of you might confusing like my friend Jeremy think. Of who is this, or rather, you all might be saying about wild cussing, who the fuck is Michael? Sorry about that folks, cause this channel is not even for kids, and there's still more about that Copa thing. But anyways, that this Michael is just like a type of de demonic creature, but rather something else. It's rather some type of monster that came from another world. And you'll all be wondering, oh, from another world? Oh, this is almost still similar to the Neutronic Universe, right? Mm, not quite. Almost a bit. Almost like how Doom game that has a different dimension to hell, like Doom guy went to another world, or even like how the Doom movie did, for going to another dimension to Mars, but till they summon the demons from their own world. Like from that Doom movie that came out last year. I forgot what it's called, but anyways. That Michael might be the most confusing character you all been hearing about. So yeah. So how the story is going to continue with him? Well, he mostly did die in that time, but he will be back for one last time in this movie. But, the story will still continue with one more chapter after this one. Chapter 6 through Chapter 7. And mostly, 
that this is supposed to be a continuation before the infested outbreak came up. Because it's mostly it's about the virus that Michael has in him. Because he was mostly a monster, but he had something gotten into him from the House of Red. Because remember when you heard the character talking about things around the house? That they see these type of strange, ghouly, blood, black things around the house? Those are mostly the blood of Nightmare that you already know. But those are mostly some type of virus or some infection that turns you into one of those monsters. That's almost similar to the Resident Evil 7 about these type of molded creatures. They are mostly around the walls and create these type of monsters. So yeah, almost similar like that a bit. And that's why in the, 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 the Demonizers movie, that the part of the final scene, that Michael has grown a new arm. Because that gives him a new axe and a new arm. So that's why the blood of Nightmare, some type of infection virus or whatnot, give him these type of new strength to grow a new arm. And maybe give him the new body form. But that didn't happen in the House of Fred, did it? If, if this was the idea back in the Demonizers, why it didn't happen in the House of Fred? Why did Michael didn't show his new form? Or why he didn't, like, I don't know, get his new arm? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, that this is mostly show, talks about this one instead. That shows the thing about the infection virus that Michael has in him for what's left of it. Until it will take three years later, till these new scientist company, or rather the corporation facility, will find his corpse because they've been searching for anything they try to experiment for a new type of weapon. And then they might find his body and then they will take it. But how is this even going to change the trilogy or how is it going to fix the trilogy of Soulless Night? Because all of you confusing about ever since my first chapter came up those years ago in 2016 is mostly finest phrase. How is this going to continue? Like is this still about the finest phrase stuff? Not quite. Because it's mostly about the Caton's family, right? Until now, we're focusing on Michael instead, because he's still part of the Caton's family, because he just a different soul version of Fred Caton. Well, mostly from the uh, world of hell, who possessing bodies. But yes, that Michael is the only last one we have left. So we're not focusing on Jenny, nor Kristen, nor William, because we decided to confirm that William just died in the last night. Because he would have died in the last night from that ending, remember? Because you'll be wondering about that too. Until the soul of Michael that he'll be back. And even you see him. Even you did see him a bit in the producer's cut of the House of Fred. Because he was shown in the post credit scene. That they're in the SCP facility. Some sort of room where SCP-049 is. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. But... How will this still fix the trilogy for the Soul of Night ever since Final Fantasy Fast Fair Fight 1983 happened? It's mostly just about the Caton family, they're doing their whole lives and it's almost close to the Final Fantasy Fast stuff. Because you all might be confusing as well. Even it's almost like how Sacred Force Studio did his own type of story to change it. Because it doesn't have to focus on a lot of things about animatronics or Final Fantasy Fast stuff, just about these Strange to do two demons who call their, who mostly some type of purple guy. I don't know. And they make these type of creatures like Twisted Ones. It's almost like that. Because you could create your own type of story. Don't just have to follow up every time like Scott Coven did. Like, there's not be some type of rules Scott Coven would do. But yeah, that's all I got for this video. It's mostly about how this is mostly going to change the trilogy for Chapter 6. It's mostly a rebooted version of the Soul of Michael. And Chapter 7 will come very soon after this one. But how, what Chapter 7, the final chapter, is going to be? Well, you have to wait. You have to figure out in your minds, in your own theories. So, that's all I got for this video. Because I can't spoil you a lot for the reason of this new movie. But if you want to be the new scriptwriter for this movie, because I leave a link down below because I'm going to have a new scriptwriter for the movie. Because I just made another type of idea for the Google Docs to make a movie setup for the locations, characters, every plot, and mostly the story about the biovirus from Michael. 
and we'll see some new villains and new characters that I already said and some other things will come but yeah that's all I got for this video folks hope you enjoy it hope you understand for what's going to happen next for this new rebooted chapter but one more thing why did I bring this back well I just want to find a real ending but why I said a real ending because there got to be a, some type of ending that truly did kill off every single villains or monsters in this trilogy and we'll see have a happy ending because the last time in the ending of the house of fred it's mostly like a terrible or rather a a bad ending a bit because similar like final phase 3 you get yourself a good ending or a bad ending but that ending for the house of fred gets itself like a bad ending for the characters being captured and they will never be heard again so that means the villains might have won in that time but I tell chapter 6 for chapter 7 that the, these new characters will might win this time. So yeah, hope you all enjoy it. This is Lord of Flames here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye folks, have a wonderful day.